one moment you are sure that it's over and the next momentum flips. You know, every great comeback has a turning point and movies, they often call it a miracle. Fans, they like to call it grit, but neuroscience calls it something else. And here's the good news, whatever you call it, training for these comebacks is actually more within reach than you probably think. Here's what's happening during these legendary moments. So one, under high pressure, the prefrontal cortex, that is the brain's decision maker, it gets a hit of dopamine and noradrenaline. And noradrenaline is your focus and alertness chemical. And the right balance of this sharpens attention, it steadies motor control, and it clears the noise. Two, the anterior mid cortex, that is the brain's effort engine. It fires hardest when things get difficult. It actually gets stronger the more you train under stress. And three, your internal sensor, called the insula, is actually reading your heart rate, your breath, your fatigue, your timing. Years of training makes these signals sharper so that decisions are faster and they're better timed. You see, fighters build this whole system. They train for it. They're doing pressure drills that mimic the stakes of a fight. They're doing decision-making drills when they're already fatigued. They are grinding and conditioning that forces them to keep going when the body is yelling stop. They're even doing breath control exercises to tighten the brain body link and technical work after fatigue so that precision holds under depletion. Because over the years and after enough training, these parts start wiring together. Focus chemistry, effort circuits, body awareness, they all come in to sync. So that when that moment comes, when the tides can shift, these fighters can stay present, they can stay dangerous, and then they can take it all back.